Hello everybody and welcome back to Gemology for Schmucks. My name is Peter Nelson and I'm here to tell you about when you should come and visit the gem market. So the important thing you really need to know about the gem market is that they are not an all-day thing. Regardless of what country you go to, there's always a specific time that the market is more up and operational. If you just go tickety tack to tack on Google and you search for Jewelry Trade Center Hours Bangkok, you're going to get a very different time frame from when people are actually doing business. So what I want to do in this video is I want to give you a visual tour. I want you to pay attention to how many heads there are. How many people do you actually see either in their booths, in their shops, or walking around talking to these people and looking through their wares. My final goal with this video is so that you can see and start to get a feel for when is the best time to come to this market and when can you best do your research and find out the qualities of stones that are available to you and how much they should be priced. So come on with me and let's go check out the market. Regardless of what country you go to, a huge factor in why the gemstone market's hours are so restricted is because of the sun. At different times of the day, the sun has different qualities of light, both in intensity and in the colors that are available. If you think about it, because our world is a globe and it's not flat, then you've got different depths of atmosphere depending on where the sun is puncturing through the atmosphere to get to you. And so if the sun is going through more atmosphere, it's thinning out certain layers of light. Noon is so bright and so direct, it'll make everything look good. So if you're buying stones like, let's say, ruby, it's going to look more red. And so you have to be very careful. If you're buying it at that time, you just fall in love with it, but all the rest of the times of the day, the stone can look kind of dead. Typically between the hours of 2 and 4 are ideal, or in the morning, 
after the sun has gotten established, but isn't so intense that it enhances the stone too much. So typically between eight and 10, let's say two to four is a safe buying period. So that's actually the most busy time of the day for any gem market, uh, especially here in Bangkok in the Jewelry Trade Center. From two to four is when most of the business is done. You can look over a stone in the booths where they've got their strong lights to make them look beautiful, but you can also take it outside into a diffused light area like in an alley and get an idea of what is the true color of this gemstone. All right, that's all for today in Gemology for Schmucks. Once again, my name is Peter. Thank you for coming and learning with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.